that I am going to explain is a vision based bleached coral reef detection. So first we should know what are corals. For that you need to see this video. What is coral? From a distance, it looks like mossy rock or bone. Up close, it appears to be covered in tiny flowers. But each of those flowers are actually an animal. A coral polyp. A round body topped with a mouth surrounded by a ring of tentacles. Inside, there is a simple gut lined with long threads of tissue that help digest the coral's food. Reef building corals lay down a skeleton of calcium carbonate, essentially rock. Corals are colonial, budding off new polyps, each one connected to the one next to it, and genetically identical, forming a living veneer. When bleaching happens, what's going on inside the coral? Yeah, we actually go into hyperdrive to some extent. So with all that heat, with all that stress, they become overreactive and therefore the coral doesn't like that. So they essentially just eject them out of their tissues. Above 30 degrees, the algae start to lose their ability to convert solar energy. That energy has to go somewhere and ends up creating reactive forms of oxygen, like peroxide in bleach, inside the coral cells. The very light a coral needs for growth becomes poisonous. Bleaching is immediate stress. The Great Barrier Reef. <coughs> uh, it is a spot in the Australia. It generates about $1.5 billion of revenue each year. Uh, what is happening at this uh, location is that the corals have started bleaching, which is severely affecting the tourism of this country. So they have decided to solve this problem for their purpose. Each and every research scientist <coughs> is working within his own field to solve the bleaching problem. Um, what our aim is to identify the locations where the bleached coral does exist. So what uh, we are doing, doing is we will classify the input images into bleached and unbleached corals so uh, if uh, we collect a few set of images we collect a training set of images and we train our model then within the testing process what will happen is we will input an image to our model and it will uh, output uh, it will give us a label uh, that whether the input image was of a bleached coral or it was of a normal coral. <clears throat> so we are developing our algorithm. The methodology of our algorithm consists of two stages. Within the first stage, we create a set of visual vocabulary. While in the second stage, we extract the final features from the input image. So how we create the visual vocabulary is that uh, uh, we cluster the features of uh, both the bleached and unbleached data and we uh, cluster the training data into uh, training set of features into uh, what we do is we create uh, we extract features from the input data uh, input training data and then we cluster their features uh, in this case we have created M cluster for the bleached and N cluster for the unbleached uh, data. Uh, and we used to extract feature from the small segment of the input image. We are not going to use a complete image, but we are using the dense selection process with a 50% overlay between uh, the patches. We extract features through both the DNN and hand crafted approach. We are using the color, texture and DNA feature. We can catenate all of them and then after the complete extraction process from the bleached and unbleached data, we create clusters and we uh, call the cluster center as visual vocabulary. 
for example for in, in this cluster the visual capillary uh, is the center of this complete cluster while in the second uh, uh, the second visual vocabulary is the center of the second cluster and so on so uh, we have extracted uh, m plus n visual vocabulary set and by using the complete set of visual vocabulary we calculate the final feature in the second stage so what we do is uh, we use a test image and through the same process we divide the input image into segments from each segment we extract features we can get in your can get in it all those features and uh, and then what we do is we calculate the frequency of each visual vocabulary within this set of features that how many uh, features from uh, the set of uh, from this input image uh, are similar to the first visual vocabulary and similarly we calculate for the second visual vocabulary that how many uh, feature from the input image are similar to the second visual vocabulary and so on we create a histogram and this complete histogram uh, represent the final feature vector of the complete input image then what we do is we classify through the support vector machine uh, we use the training set of data features plus label a label can be bleached or unbleached it is a training set of data we extract the feature from the input image and then we classify through the support vector machine the estimated label uh, is compared with the true label and the confusion matrix is created to uh, show the classification accuracy of the complete model